deep pockets. Yeah, the world. That's right when I approach the mic, it goes to have my niggas in a Tyson fight. That's right. I like to watch you ain't getting no spice in the life and the price all oh, right, sure. nigga. And I'm out for a barker. Bang the track, I'll start to rip apart you. Frank, jump on the next plane with the parcher. Next stop in Louisiana with the car. I let them know, I ain't gonna keep going. <laughs> I ain't gonna keep going. Yeah, yeah, Monday night, night, baby. Monday night at the Ball Company. Al, your sports, the Royal Troop. You know well, man, Big Chief. The chiefiest chief, baby. Chiefiest chief. Chiefiest chief. Chiefiest chief. I have a little, I stutter when I say it, but he's corrected it. We're about to give y'all the bomb show. You know, I know what it is. Chief, let's get this shit started. Hey, you know, I'm ready, baby. We got to get this shit sports. started, baby. Super Bowl week, you know what I'm saying? The chiefiest chief is in the building. Chief Rocker, baby. And it don't get no better than this, baby. Chief Rocker. Right, we're going to talk, y'all. We're going to back up line of game, too. Don't fill up, baby. Get that up, Chief. Let's get it started, baby. Come on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We hope everybody yeah, having a beautiful day. Barber Company, in effect. Like I said, we're about to give y'all this word. We're going to start right now. Was Super Bowl 58 Chief on Sunday, February 11th at Allegiant Field. You know it. Nevada, Las Vegas at the 12 and 5 Frisco Niners. You know faced it. Faced the world champs in the 11 and 6 Kansas City Chief. Woo. The line for this contest is minus two Niners, 47 and a half. Okay. Uh, right. Let's start with the Niners. Came out the gate with a five game winning streak, Chief. They did. Had a couple injuries, then lost three in a row to the Browns, Vikings, and Bengals. Right. Then had another six-game winning streak before losing two out of three. And now we're going to the Chiefs, who oh, lost on opening night, Thursday night, to the uh, Lions, 21-20. Ah, uh, nice. Darius Tony ah. dropped, and he could steal the game. He ah. did it. It was an L. Y'all won six in a row after that, T, and then oh. lost four out of the next seven games. And then y'all won the last two games, beating the Bengals with no burrow, no burrow. and with your backups. You know it. You know, meaning that y'all won the last game with your backups. Come on, man. Backups, yes, sir. Yes, backups sir. Backups lives matter, too. Okay, now what I'm going to do, T, I'm going to mention each individual playoff game, and I want your take okay. on each game. We're going to start with the Niners. Because I know although you're a Chief fan, you pay in mind to everything. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You got eyes on everything. I, 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 I ain't everything. sleeping on you. I know you got, got eyes. eyes on everything, but the prize is on Kansas City. There you go. All right. <laughs> First game of the playoffs for the Niners. Okay. There was minus 10 versus the Green Bay Packers at Levi's Stadium. Right. Uh, they, they were up early. Packers came back, took the lead late in the third quarter. Could have sealed the deal with a touchdown. They didn't do it. They missed the field goal. That opened the floodgates for the Niners to come back and win the game. Niners won but did not cover 124-21. Your take on that game right there. Uh, my take on that game, honestly, I'll keep it 100. Uh, both teams played excellent. Like, you know, the, even the book start 49ers was just supposed to roll over. Right, that. right, right, right. set the line so high. Facts. Well, Jordan Love said, damn that, fuck that. He got something to prove. And if it wasn't for that pick at the end of the game, <laughs> The Niners might not be here this weekend. Facts. You know what I'm saying? That was a really close game. Shouts out to Jordan Love. Boy, you played your heart out. I love to see it. But you can't throw that pick on first down. You can't. A little, like right before midfield, Chief. Right. On a post field pass. That's when you know the, that he's young and young. he's a rookie. Yeah. The only guy that get away with that kind of throw is Patrick Mahomes. Come on, man. BG. <laughs> not cash money. Baby, go. Okay? All right. <laughs> okay, so T broke that down. Now we're going to go to the Niners' second playoff game. Minus seven and a half versus the Detroit Lions. Right. Lions up 24-7 at the half, T. Should have, could have, didn't. Uh, like I said, I got a lot of respect for right. Dan Campbell. He, he threw the game away for his young fighting team. I'm going to let you talk first, and I'm going to come in and throw my little add-ons on this one. Right. Talk to them about that game at Levi mean, Stadium. I mean, for everybody listening on how you sports, you know, that was a hell of a game. Um, I knew Detroit was going to lose that game. I'm not even going to say that because they was up 24-7 or 17-7 or whatever right, the right, score right. was that they should have won. But they really, they really shouldn't have been there, but the fact that they got there means everything. You feel what I'm saying? So them reaching the NFC Championship – Within 50 years hosting two playoff games, they felt like they won the Super Bowl. It, was good. it, it was good for them to get there. It gotcha. was good for the city of Detroit. If they built some new skyscrapers, more jerseys sold. They up parking sales. Chief, you up 24-7 and a half, though. 
<laughs> see, you got to get to the game, T. Hey, man, hey, that's they pressure bus pipes. I know you got to get to the game. He said you was up. I got a Super Bowl for you. Tom Brady. He was uh, Falcons was up twenty eight three at the half. Right. right. So we can't just be like you was up seventeen nine. Right. A lot of people been up. It's just how you bounce back from being down. You yeah, feel? yeah, yeah. How you finish? Yeah, it's how you finish. So it's like uh, you know, pressure plus pipes. Right. So the right. Lions, you know, they, they felt like they did good enough, but Brock Purdy had a little more in the tank. Right. Right. I'm gonna. Yeah. I'm gonna kind of go reflect to what I said on Friday with my man E. Vega, who does the Forty Niners. Big 49er fan like you a Chief fan. <laughs> um, I understand that Dan Campbell risked a lot in the regular season going for fourth downs. I get that. That's his MO. But my breakdown was the majority of the times that he did it, T, you know, when they were up big, they usually was in the red zone, meaning the 20-yard line or less. Right. Not only that, I rarely seen him do it with a big lead. It was a 14-point lead the first time he did it and a 7-point lead. Right. Not only did you not kick the field goal to stretch the lead out. You ran the ball all over the Niners and not one time you ran on either play. Right. Fourth and three, fourth and four, you can spread them out, T. Yep. Draw play Montgomery who was eating the he whole game. Eating. That brother was eating. Eating the whole game. Eating. So when you do that to me, he failed to coach him up in the second half. Now, you know, I understand don't take your foot off, you know, the pedal. I get all that. But kicking the field goal is not taking your foot off the pedal, T. Nah, you never take points off the board. That's what I'm saying. And then yeah, not you only that. You get every time you in scoring position if you can't get your touchdown. Yeah, and then not only that, T, I could see if it was tie game and you did that. Because you're not going to beat the Niners with field goals. So no. I get that. No, you're not, not going to beat happen. the Chiefs with field goals. But if that's you have a 14-point lead to extend it to 17, T, or 7 to extend it to 10, that's called leverage. Yeah. Now you're going to have Brock Purdy feeling like he got to throw the ball more than usual because they're down more than a touchdown. Right. But when you when you miss these plays, you gave them all the momentum right back to right them. Back to it's them. like you knew they were going to come back and win. <laughs> My man told me, I, I started pressing the button. I, I took them eight and a half oh, plus, plus seven and a half. Oh. I took a money line, all that shit because... You can see that the Niners was gonna come get this game right. after those fuckers. You're right. Great game though. Salute to Dan Campbell taking nothing away. Coach, yo, he Hell played the great year. all Hell year. Of the year. I just year, feel bad right. for the players, T. That I ran know. through a war for him, and he just, I felt he, you know, he choked late. Like I said he in my Friday, hurt. like I said in my Friday video, I, I love bravery, T. But I seen guys be too brave and get killed. Right, but look though. You gotta know when to be brave. You do, you do, right? But you don't know when to be brave until you're brave in every moment. You feel what I'm saying? Like uh, he, he, you gotta know. Like you said, he choked. Now he knows see, not to bite so much. See, see, next time he'll choke. See, you I'm understand what I'm saying? Uh, uh, if I go to a ball with you, see, hold on, hold on, let me get this on. See, if I go to a ball with you and it's four cats, right? And they want to front on us. I could be brave against four cats. But if it's 15 T, my common sense tells me nah. If I be brave here, I can get killed. Choking is good. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna tell you how <laughs> choking is good. Look where we at right now. Look where Andy Reid is. That motherfucker choked in Philadelphia the whole yeah, time. You ain't he was in Philadelphia. You ain't lying. He choked so many times, guess you what? Lying. He ain't choking now. You know what was he his ain't choking was, now. You know what was his big right. downfall though, right? Donovan McNabb? We saw that. Time, Terrell Owens? Time management. He always used to call timeouts early in the fucking game. You got to choke. You see, now, you gotta choke. now he's good with that. Oh, he's like when Mahomes call a timeout, I see the screen on Mahomes. Bro. What you call a timeout for? Yeah. Let's take the five yard <laughs> penalty. <laughs> no, for real. Like, you Mahomes. Five yards yeah, ain't five nothing. Five yards ain't shit. But, it, but you understand what I'm saying, though? I got he you. choked so many years. That choking is going to make the Lions head coach that much better. So basically, get your heart broken. You got to fuck up and know what not to do. You got to get your heart broken. I heard these niggas hurt. Yeah, you gotta get your heart just like I me. I love it. I ain't know how to play these young chicks when I was younger until I got my heart broken first. <laughs> then I was an extreme player after that. But you gotta get your heart broken. You All have right, to, so to get your heart broken. Right now, we're gonna get into that later on in the show. Right now, you don't have to reply to this, but now the Niners got the Chiefs next. This is the one I want you to reply to. Okay. Chiefs open up. They first uh, wild card game against the Miami Dolphins, minus four and a half T. And they went and whooped on those boys in zero degrees weather. Easiest money I ever made. 26-7. Easiest money I ever made. Talk to us about that game, Easiest money I ever made. See, look here, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
The two is good, you feel me? But they not Pat Mahomes. You know what I'm saying? First of all, they made it to the playoffs. What we do, we rock. Alright, Tyreek Hill was over there. It ain't like the nigga gave him every playbook we was finna run. Right. They was gonna lose. We shut down Tyreek Hill in Germany or London, whatever. Right, right. Like, he didn't do shit. Just like he didn't do shit in the playoffs. So I wasn't worried about Miami. They wasn't ready as levels, like Canelo says. Levels with a B. With a B. Man, line. Levels. And not only that, the, the, the career 0 and 4 under 49 degrees. Come on, man. And you go on to zero. Which told me you had zero chance of winning. And Tyree Hill, though. Yo, they had zero chance. Y'all wearing no sleeve. <laughs> they don't think we saw. <laughs> you don't get your black ass out of here. <laughs> then it's cold out of here. You better keep going. You ain't lying. You ain't <laughs> lying. <laughs> well, y'all, it's fair to say y'all rolled over the Miami Dolphins. Then y'all went to your second game, which I thought y'all were going to have a lot of issues with this team. Because this team presents issues. But in the regular season, T, playoffs y'all own them. Which is the Buffalo Bills? Oh, come on, talk to Buffalo me. Bills was up uh, the right. whole game. Both teams uh, were doing whatever they wanted. I see both teams averaging like seven, eight yards per play. Yep. That's how ugly it was. Yeah. But Pat Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs found a way to beat the Buffalo Bills. Hit us a little part of that game. Anything in your memory? I'm gonna tell. I remember it all. I made good money on that game. Okay. okay. I, you like, making money all game? Oh, Y'all won that covering. We win it. That, that covering. So you got the money line. You got the spread. You got the Let me tell everybody on Audio Sports what happened with the Buffalo Bills. Okay. okay. We've been whooping their ass. See, I I base everything a lot to what I went through during the regular season. Okay. I look at it like, okay, nigga, we used to bust Tom Brady ass in the regular season, but guess what happened when the playoffs come? It's like regular season never happened. So we took the page out of that, and we gave it to Josh Allen. Oh, you can whoop us on the regular season. We only lost because we threw a pick or we fumbled the ball. It wasn't like you outplayed us. Right. But I catch your bitch ass in the playoffs just like we did. Now, y'all get them in the playoffs. I like 3-0 against them in the playoffs. Right. Now they are. They beat y'all the last three regular season. But regular you know what I know. season means that, nothing. That's what I'm saying. No, no. I'm not going to say it means something because it might end up, you know, you making the playoffs or not. But I know what you're saying. The chips go down in the playoffs. Goes down in the playoffs, and Josh and Allen came up short. I've been mad. But you can't be mad. He played a decent game. He played. But I'm gonna tell you something about Josh Allen. Game. I'm gonna tell you something about Josh Allen. Okay, he's a choker, and I ain't like that motherfucker ever since he was hugging and shit in Kansas City when he threw that ball, and it was 13 seconds left on the clock, and right, his parents man. was hugging and shit in the yeah. suite. Thought it was over. Friends, his line. Thought it was over. Him on the head, like he was. Thought it was over. Like Patty had 13 seconds left. <laughs> Yo, T, not you for nothing. Not, and then we was hugging and shit in Chief, Buffalo now. Not for nothing. I've seen over like 30, 40 years of watching football, T. I've seen some incredible games. But I have to put that top three on my list. You have to. Because not only was it playoff, you had touchdowns within one minute, like three of them. Back. How the fuck is that possible, T? Hey, man, when you're dealing with two dual threats, but there's only one real threat on the field. The cream always gonna rise to the top. Josh Allen got the Look stop. It. You started that her shit. I'm gonna go back to that. Brady gave Mahomes his first playoff playoff loss. Damn right. Gave Mahomes his first AFC championship loss. The and Super Bowl. Then went to Tampa Bay and gave him his first Super Bowl. Heartaches. That's what made. Pat and before made I forget, before that. I, before I forget this team, I was gonna say that at the end of the show, but we gonna do so much that I don't want to forget it. For sure. As of right now, I got Kansas City borderline a destiny team. Okay. I think if you guys close it up this Sunday, in my book, that's destiny. Three chips. Hey, you got a good book, baby. Number one best seller. Three chips. You hear it? Three chips. Now, even if they lose, they can still win the next two out of three. Right. But like I told you, T, and I'm going to tell you again, if Mahomes has a loser, a loser Super Bowl record, don't ever come to me and say he's the GOAT. Nah, he ain't gonna have a loser. But I'm just saying, don't ever, I don't care what he does. Because to me, you gotta do it when it most matters, like Michael Jordan and, he does and it. Joe Montana. You did. can't tell me a time he didn't do it. Now, they, I didn't show up and hit the Bucks. No, they paid him to money. lose. So then they, I lost money for something. It was in the script. Said, okay? <laughs> they said, Pat, sit down. No, listen, hold on, let me dive into it. They said, Pat, look, all right, you just won the Super Bowl last year, homie. Tom has just went to, to the Bucks. He's about to retire. It's for the greater good of the business if you just let Tom have this one. And I'm going to tell you why we let him have it. When have you seen Pat Mahomes score nine points? When? He ran backwards for 400 yards that game. We, we let Tom do that. And I'm going to tell you, we beat the 
Jay asked earlier in the regular season, same old line problems. So the old line problems we had in the Super Bowl, we had them same old line problems in Tampa when we beat them. Well, well, I'm, listen, that's all I'm saying. I believe there was some. There was some fuckery going was some on, but, but I'm not going to lie to you, I guess. Because they shouldn't beat the Packers. I'm not going to lie to you. That line was weak that you guys had. Because I remember y'all went and addressed that immediately. That's what I'm afraid this year for the Super Bowl, the receiving call. I know y'all going to address it next year. Oh, but yeah. the line, y'all end up addressing it. But, you know, Shaq Barrett and them was all in the backfield. So I don't even blame my home because he had no time. The and then you had right. cats dropping shit. But, but. To Yo, man, Tom, he dropped a couple of joints right along. Right. He did. He, he, that motherfucker dropped the pass in the AFC Champions game against the Bengals. Right, right, right. You feel what I'm saying? So I done been hurt too many times before. That's why I'm shining right now on the <laughs> sports, God damn it. The chiefiest. The chief be it. Chief fan. I've been doing this shit since before it was cool. You ain't lying. Let's go to the last game. You yeah. talking about the best running back in the league, Lamar Jackson? Yeah. I'm going to go to the last game. He's the best running back Baltimore in the league. Baltimore Ravens. Best running back ever seen. I told you I had a future. Yes, I was lucky I had some of that out, but I needed the Baltimore to win, to win the bigger bag. Right. You know, I'm smart enough to get a bag regardless. You got but the bag? bigger bag is the Baltimore bag. I'm not going to hear and deny shit because I'm the raw truth. If I don't tell the truth, then you might as well take the raw the truth, truth out of my name. Nothing but the truth to help you go. So help you. Yeah, so they went in there and they had the winners right out the gate. Come on, man. Went for it on the right first fourth down we got. Right out the gate. This was a hell of a catch. I think that was a better catch than the throw. Not that the throw wasn't like, right, but he kind of had some height on it. He did. And Kelsey went and got that. Got that That's when I knew it was issue. It's an issue. Right or wrong? Well, it was going to be an issue with Lamar playing quarterback. <laughs> that was the whole okay. issue right there. 17 10. Yeah. Um, I didn't like the. The scheme that the Baltimore uh, Mike McDonald drew up with one of the best coordinators that just signed with the Seattle Seahawks as a head coach. Now, a lot of people are going to say, ah, what do you want him to do? When he gave up 17, 17 points, what do you want him to do? He shut him down the second half. But I'm going to tell you something. Mahomes did what he wanted the first half, mm -hmm. and like I told T, he played a field position game. Yeah, he did. Let me tell you how good Mahomes is, Come man. Come on, man. I'm tell you For a good, young man. dude, like... I will just give you one example. Against that Jet game, a lot of people were mad that he didn't run in for a touchdown when he slid on the ground. But a lot of y'all got to understand, if he runs it, I know y'all had the over, y'all had prop bets. I get it. when we played the Jet? Yeah, I get oh, it. I but I'm going to tell you, I'm going to, no, 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 T, T. I hurt my heart. T, I will keep it 100 with you. I hurt my heart. By him scoring, that gives the Jets a shot to win. I'm explaining to you how. They can score, or I kick your ass. Get me good enough. Not here, but I, I you lost some money. That's why you I am listening. I'm See, listening. When you go on that knee, you gave the Jets a zero chance to win. Because all they do is ran the clock out. But I know you wanted the numbers. No. I know I'm you wanted the numbers. Why. Now let me tell you. Yeah, he over. We was, no, I didn't. We was minus seven and a half. We was up three. Nigga, if we go up ten, then I all start kicking winning shit. Okay? We was up three. He slid. We could have went up 10. We covered the spread. Yes. No. no, no. Too many people bet no fan, dude. They told Pat, take a knee, my nigga. Yeah. $50 million worth is on, y'all. We can't pay out. Two, two scores with two minutes. I know it. The Jets know, barely scored. I know, but I see guys, you know, we seen dude like score. You, you not understand it, the team. I take, do. You take away the possibility of any crazy shit happening. There is no, listen, there's two minutes left in the game. If we score a goddamn touchdown, we're up 10. Yeah, they'll score. They 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 score all game. Let's say this one they minute. Score that game. game. That game they score all not year. they made the call. Oh, no, no, all year you're we right. We went up 17 nothing. all of a sudden, Pat threw three picks. <laughs> all of a sudden, this nigga quit knowing how to throw the ball. We was up 17 nothing in New Listen. York, and then Buffalo Wild Wings hit the I'm going to tell you why I wasn't mad. Niggas tripping over spring. Yeah, I'm going to tell you why I wasn't mad. I had the chance with the points. I know you did. So, to me. That's why you had That was wonderful. That's fucked up. That was wonderful. But but I get you, though, Chief. So, basically, give us the last on the Ravens. Then we're going to move to the Super Bowl. We're going to explain what we see and need to do. I know well, one man. thing I like what you did, though, on my show. You said Lamar wasn't going to run four bucks. I told you. I mean, he never going to run. He, they, they give him like 54 yards. Nah, I think he fuck. barely almost got there. Nah, that's why he gets the MVP. Because yeah. he's the only quarterback that, that can run four bucks. yards a season. Yeah, yeah, he can get a buck. This team he get a buck. In contention. Um, I, I compared your style of playing the Ravens like a Floyd Mayweather kind of fight. Meaning they took everything that they do best and took, took it away. away. That's what Floyd does. Yeah. 
Took it away. So that's great coaching from Reed Spangola. He had to talk a lot to coach like that. That's what I'm saying. That, right. that, that was great coaching. And not only that, your defense showed up again. We got the best defense in the league. Now, because Buffalo, Buffalo was able to do a few things. But at the end, no. like I told you, at the end, they shut it down. Shut that but shit. Miami, Miami and Baltimore, they hold them down. Yeah, for sure. And if they could play like that against the Niners, this I'm going to tell you why. And Lamar Jackson, bro, if you're watching, we on Al York Sports. And I'm going to tell you, you are a talented football player, my brother. But you would never be an elite NFL quarterback. All right? How you play the game... The people saying he's elite now. No, 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 no. He's elite, but I just look at it like this. You mean a championship quarterback? He'll never be a championship. Yeah, say that because he's elite. He's elite. elite. He's elite. He's elite. But he'll never be a championship quarterback. Okay, I, I, and I'm gonna tell you why. Once you take his legs being a threat away from him, and you make him pass, you know you're gonna win the game. He's limited. The only time the nigga get passes off is when you scared he's gonna run. So you don't know how to play the game. T, I'm gonna tell y'all one thing. I don't think you're giving your team enough credit. Other teams try to stop the run, and Lamar got him this year with the arm. I know it. Because they were scared when he was going to run. They do it with the Chiefs. You know why? Because they can play one-on-one on the outside. I'm going to tell you and why. And they can bless up the middle on this ass. I'm going to tell you why. Lamar Jackson and Pat Mahomes, I told you this last time, they record between each other. Now they're one and five. Lamar Jackson is one and five. No, one and four. Season. You one said and four. No, no, no. Now he's one and five. No, 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 no. You said one and four last year. I didn't want to talk about three. It was one and three okay, because there was another quarterback that lost. Okay, I'm sorry. But you're right as far as the head to head. Right. I, but I'm not so Lamar. Used to yeah, Lamar. I can't, I can't let I'm you sorry. get Lamar like but, that. But, but Lamar, now you won in whatever the hell yeah, 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 one and four. One and four. Right? And you're going to continue to be that. Right. Because we know how to take your legs out of the game. What you do best, Spags took it away. That's why every game you play us, we damn near beat y'all. Every game we play y'all, you didn't rush for 100 yards. It's just, we know how to beat them. Nah, you know how to beat them, man. I, I, listen. Well, you know how to beat somebody, you just know how to beat somebody. One and four, what else do you have to say? He wins 20% of the games he faces. Josh Allen only two in the playoffs. Go yeah, with the yeah, stats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, real quick, before we get to the, to the breakdown of the Super Bowl. Big it's, game. Uh, this play is, I'm going to ask you, who do you think I have? The biggest game. We're going to run down the Niners. I'm going to give you two names to be sure. I think Debo has to show out. Debo. C-Mac has to show out. C-Mac. I got a bunch of names, but I'm just going to go with those two. Give me two hey, plays that have to show out for the Chiefs, and then we're going to go on to the next one. I mean, you know, I ain't even got to count Mahomes because he show out every right. time he put a jersey on. So, uh, Travis Kelsey, see, he's going to show out, but it's kind of like – I damn near want him to get double. Like when we played the Ravens, I thought they was gonna throw the kitchen sink at Trey. That's why Mike McDonald fucked up. You feel me? I thought they was like, let they if we're gonna lose, blow up. it won't be because of Trap. Yeah. You feel me? So that's why I thought Trap was gonna have a game. Heart broken, yeah, right? He got that game. All right. He got it broken. I know right. he got it broken, but that's why one of the main reasons he wanted out of there fast because he fucked up in the biggest game. I'm gonna say uh, MBS. MBS gotta have a big game. You know what I'm saying? Because he's a vet. He so Mahomes and MVS. I mean, I'm, no, no, no. Mahomes, Mahomes is a given. Yeah, we're I'm going to two. Mahomes is a given. But that's right. Pat. Okay. That's BG, baby. Go. Okay? He's okay. a given. Okay? okay? So MVS got to have a good game. Right. Right? Pacheco does what he does. I'm going to tell you who else got to have a good game. Nick Bolton. Okay. Defense. Okay. Now, I know that. I got, I got him on the Steve going to play a good game anyway. Okay. Now we're going to go to why we, why we did the show today. But I'd like to give y'all facts. i like to throw the winning streak. GMT broke down the prior games. Now we're going to Super Bowl 58 itself, G. Yeah, yeah. T, I was going to do both sides on, you know, what team's got to do the way, but my man hit me up today. He ain't going to support the Niners. You should let me get on. No. So I said, no, no, I'm talking. I said, listen, I said, yo, I'm talking on, but you know what, T? I'm going to support the Niners because it's only me and you. So, when I mean by support, I mean, I'm going to throw numbers up. Can I tell you something? I'm going to support them, too, because every real nigga need a dance partner in the dance. <laughs> Let's start so off. The bitch up. Let's start off. Let's bitch start off with the underdog team, okay. plus two, Kansas City Chiefs team. Uh, I love it. What do the Kansas City Chiefs have to do to win Super Bowl Fifty Eight? Other than show up, uh, you know, just do what we've been doing. See, I need you to break it down. I don't okay. need none of that swag. Do what we've been. <laughs> Tell me what you gotta do. Yeah, don't say I'm gonna kill him. I wanna kill know how you gonna kill him. Are you gonna wait for him under the car? You gonna be in his closet? Yeah, tell me why. Right, look, all right, look, I'm basically, this is what we're going to do to win. You feel me? Okay. If any 49ers watching, I'll give you the whole game plan. This shit ain't going to help you anyway, okay? Look, we're going to control the clock, bro, by running that thing. 
See, Brock Purdy can prove they can score at will. They got threats. Debo, they can run. They can pass. Kills is a beast like Kelsey. So it's going to be a lot of clock management. Right. You're going to see a lot of C, uh, Clyde Edwards. You're going to see a lot of Pacheco. And you're going to see a lot of uh, my nigga McKinnon. You're going to see a lot of screens. You're going to see a lot of clock eating up of positive yards. As long as we keep Brock on that sideline, he ain't been here before. He's going to have less and less time to work with every time he touches the ball. So that's going to put them in a position to hurry up and score. Right. Pressure bust pipes on them punk rookies. You already know. All right? You already know. God damn it. Can you want me break it down even more? I get my but OJ this, on. But this is the thing. This is the thing. Feel me? This is the thing with the Niners, right? They're such a good team that Clark don't have to be Mahomes to win. Right. Mahomes has to be Mahomes, especially with this team. Because you know you don't have to receive a call. You're accustomed to having a team. Nah. The niggas are accustomed in the playoffs now. They know they don't protect your team. I know you don't protect your team. We got to give Mahomes more props. He's yeah. doing more with less. Let's keep it 100. For sure. No Tyreek, no Juju. Kelsey's a little we older. We need Tyreek. We about to get Tyreek. Kelsey's Kelsey a little older. No, no, but I'm saying he doesn't have the weapons he needs, but he's still performing on a high level. That's why I like him as the dope right now. He's the best quarterback. We got the weapons. I'm going to tell you, you, what we got right now, bro, is the, is the recipe of the Patriots in the 2000s. We got a GOAT, we got a tight end, right, we right. got a coach, and we got some defense. Yeah, the Patriots, Who the fuck was there? The 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 in the beginning, though, in the beginning. Not late Patriots when they had no, balls. No, 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 no. When they had the no man catch. Yeah. Y'all know what you're talking yeah, about. You know what you're talking about. They was running the rock, good yeah. coaching, yeah. sturdy defense. Name me, I like that. Name me one fucking star receiver Tom Brady had during his tenure. Other than Randy Moss. The beginning, Name one. Had no Wes Welker wasn't him. No, but they didn't have to know it wasn't him. Yeah. The guy wasn't even on there. Right, but you just need a nigga that can catch. Right. And a security blanket in Tyree and uh, Travis Kelsey. Just like he had in Gronkowski. Right. That's all you need. Right. That's all you need. Right. Right. That's all you need. 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 Right. That's all you it's insane that he got it to this point right yeah. here. And if he closes the deal, dog, I'm out of Dynasty on the Chiefs' back. Dynasty, early, early. Early. we're closing the deal. Okay, you now think they're going to come to my city and lose? Now I'm going to support the 49ers. I'm not a 49er fan. Let me make come that on. clear. Let me but I got to I gotta play, I gotta play, I gotta play devil's advocate with my play man, Big Chief. Play on. What the 49ers have to do in this game, they got to set the tone early, Chief. Okay. They were down those two prior games. Green Bay, Frisco. You can't be down against Patrick Mahomes. No, sir. They got to go up at least 3 6, 7 6, maybe even 14 3, 14 10. And I'll take that. They got to set the tone early. Make Mahomes come from behind. Because if Mahomes is up, he's going to play with them like the way Roy Jones played with Cats when he was up in the 10th right. round, where it was a hey, joke for him. Yeah, it was a joke for him. It was a joke for him. C Max got to get off off the rip. First drive, I want to see C Max getting off. Okay. He's then, then they got to play ball control, move the chains. Don't hunt after the big play. Let the big play come yeah, at you. Yeah, yeah. Because you got big play guys, yak guys. What I mean by yak is y'all after the cat. For sure. Debo can take a six yard pad to the out. house. Sure. Same thing with C-Mac. Sure. Ayuk a little different. Ayuk, Ayuk could do that, but Ayuk is more to go deep on your ass. But we got defense this year. If you look at Snead, took Steve, out Tyree Hill. Steve Ball. Took out Stephon Diggs. Yeah, yeah. Who the? Took out Zay Flowers had one catch for a touchdown. Took his young punk ass out. Who they got left? Some niggas you just can't stop. CMC might get here. Yeah, yeah. Some niggas you just got to hope they don't kill you, so you just try to contain them. Right, like, right. CMC's going to get his. He's one of them running backs that it's nothing you right. can do, play. Once I touch this ball, I'm going to do me. Right, right. Like, let, so let me eat. I, you know, I fed you. Let, let me eat. I want to eat you. Okay. okay. I got I got to present the 49ers. Yeah, I was giving them a They're going to be like, yo, I, I was giving them a oh, Okay, good. I said CMC's going to do him. You see that. Y'all didn't like, hear me say okay. CMC is going to do him. We just got to hope to contain him. He's Another thing him. the 49ers have to do, I'm going to look right in the camera and I'm going to say this. You have to find a way to stop the run. That's one. Oh, no. Once you stop the run, you have to focus on Travis Kelsey. I want to see a lot of Fred Warner helping out, guarding double 
double team in Kelsey. Dope. There's no reason why Kelsey should have seven or eight, nine catches for 100 yards, a touchdown or two, and y'all lose this fucking game. Because you've seen the Ravens did that, and it didn't work for them, team. Right. It didn't work for them. It didn't work. That's the only chance you got, and then you got to get on your prayers. Because I think Mahomes, matter of fact, I don't think. I know he's good enough to go to the third option, which is the no-name receivers. The no-name. And Rice, MVS, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Watson. Rice. Call him by his name. Watson coming off the bench. Oh, you're right. Sky Moore's out doing an injury on that. Yeah. I know you said they were to put him in, but he got yeah, an injury. Man. And Tony not playing either. He, he don't need to play. Yeah, Tony not playing either. You fucked me all here. You have to take, oh, you sorry. have to stop the run. And, you got, and that's possible to stop the running Kelsey. Not possible to stop all three. Right. Then you got to hope that the receiving core being young, non-polished, will start dropping the ball like they did in the regular season. But I'm going to say good luck. Because like T said, in the playoffs, they were making these catches. Right. Especially the NBA. Yeah, come on, man. They've been dropping passes all year. Then as soon as it counts. Because you know why? When, when that ball left Pat's hand, he said, nigga, you better catch it. T, give me a prediction score for Sunday's game. You want it? Well, see, my numbers ain't off, but they're going to be off. I, I don't want to give you. I know I know. They don't have to give you I'm going to say this. Win, I'm going to say this on Al York Sports. We're going to win by seven or more. I don't know what the score is going to be. Right, that's good enough. But the spread will be covered like me at night in my bed. Okay? Covered. I personally didn't make my decision yet, but since I'm on the show and I'm on the spot, I got to deliver. So I'm going to call this a gun to my head situation. I got to deliver. Right. I'm going to say that Pat Mahomes finds a way to win. That's the best I can tell y'all. I can't give you a prediction score yet. Like I said, I, my, my bet is not furnished yet. But since I'm on the spot, I got to produce. If I got a three-piece suit and the cat want to gonna fight me, I got to fight with the three-piece suit on. You got to do what you got to so do. So right now, I'm doing what I got to do. do. I'm going to say that Pat Mahomes finds a way to win. Like we always do. That's your Super Bowl 58. Everything y'all needed to know, all the break now. But we, before we close this magnificent show, she's going to hit me with one guy to go, a few of them, and I'm going to hit them with choose one and why. And that's what separates us from everybody else because we got our own shit going on. That's right. But T, talk to them first on that one guy to go. I'm ready for you. You ready? Oh, uh, he's ready. Oh, no, 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 no. He's ready for the one guy to go. All right, man. Look here, Al. You ready? Well, I can't remove, though, T. Yeah, see the game. Check it real quick. Hold on. We can wait. We can wait. Hold on. I just want to make sure the people that might have moved when he hit the table. Nah. We still good? Yeah, okay. Hell yeah. You got that great lens. Oh, <laughs> one guy to go. All right, ready? I got one for him. One guy this to go. This is his shit, too, by the way. Hey, I got one for him. One guy to go. <laughs> hip hop edition. All oh, right. One guy to go. Hip hop edition. Talk to me. Rock Hill. LL Cool J. Method Man. Or Slick Rick. One guy to go. Oh, I would have to go math because to uh, I'm a throwback guy. And I love math. You gonna throw math out just because he wasn't rapping in the '80s though? No, it's you can't do that. I'm gonna tell you why. Cause you got all my when I first grew up loving cats. Okay. And then you threw meth in that became later on. Right. But it's you thought that meth ain't nice. Meth I like, nice. I love the three. No. I love yeah, but I love the three you just said. Meth is better than Slick Rick. Slick was the best storyteller. I, I didn't say story. I See, said that's why, is better that's why Slick Rick rap. And he's a pioneer. He, he is a pioneer. Storyteller. He is a pioneer. Why can't you say Matt does the best? Got rid of Matt so fast. No, no, no. no I, I love that. I love Wu Tang. I love Wu Tang. <laughs> but where, where, where Matt is the best in anything? Slick Rick's the best storyteller. Why yeah. Kim is the best because he never curses. How do we so hard and never curse? You're right. You threw three diamonds in the rough right there. Math is a diamond in the rough. Yeah, but he didn't That's master. how you get, like, to me, honestly, I would have said, I would have said, Slick Rick had to go. And I'm not going to say because uh, I wasn't just on hip-hop in the 80s like that, which I was. I was just a little younger. You right, know? right. But hell yeah, that nigga told me. Cheese lives it, Cheese. I know you did. But when I got me fresh, the cheese, but you don't understand, Cheese. I'm going to go ahead. Pause, pause, Cheese. But you don't understand, being a kid, when Doug was beatboxing, 
beatboxing. And Slick Rick came out with Rick the Ruler and all that. Dog, they bring us something new that we never saw before. Right. I would never ever forget that. That's how they met. I came to bring the pain. No, oh, that's hot. That's hot. How high? All that is hot. Method Man. I like that. No Wu Tang Clan. There would be no Wu Tang Clan if it wasn't for Method. I disagree because. Method was the hardest rapper in Wu Tang. Listen, I think I think Method is overall the best one. But ODP, bro. He has style. ODP was the fucking harder than that. He had style. ODP, they still fought to his style. He could rap to any fucking beat. Oh, that's hard. I'm going to give it to ODP because he's so underrated in that group, bro. Right. Like a lot of people say, you know, the genius, uh, the Rizzo to the Rizzo, the one that got everybody together. But I'm going to go ODP. No father to his style. He could go out anywhere. And not too, not too. But anyway, I told you who I like. You got another one for me? Now, come on. Let me see who you got. You want to go one inch? Yeah. Let me see okay, let's got. go one inch. Choose one and why. Marvin Hagler, a.k.a. Marvelous Marvin Hagler. Ooh. Or Roy Jones Jr. Who and why, bitch? Okay. Woo, that's a good one. Um... You want to take a drink to that? Yeah, I might have to take a shot. Hold on. I might as well take Dory's shitty talk. Hold on. Shit. I got to take a shot. Dory took my one. shit. So I got to take, take, take the drink part. No, I'm going to see how you like it. Now, look, you took my idea. Now, I'm going to take your idea look. with the drink. I didn't have the drink shit. Look, I got to take a shot. You got a shot. You should be in the whole bottle. Nah, nah, because they ain't paying me to put no, it on the camera. Put it backwards. <laughs> look, look, look. I'm going to take a shot on that one because. And he's a boxing dude, by the way, too. Not only uh, uh, football, T did a lot of boxing with RHB. T was in there, like he's still in there. I'm gonna tell he knows his boxing. I watched it. I was young when Marvin Hagler did his thing. Right, I'm from Vegas, his boxing culture. But I know I've seen a lot of documentaries. I watched a lot of his fights, and I'm a fan just how he came up. Marvin Hagler didn't Boom. have it easy like Boom. Sugar Ray Leonard did, or like all these other people did. He wasn't as clean cut as everybody else. He wasn't TV friendly. He was a blue collar guy. Nobody wanted to put him on there. He didn't. He wasn't. He, he was like a Marshawn Lynch. Okay. Wasn't really trying to sell himself and do right, all that. Right. Just blue collar. Fuck you. And then Roy Jones. I mean, how you get rid of Roy, baby? That's <laughs> motherfucking Roy. The first boxer Jordan signed. So how the fuck you can't get rid of Roy? And that's why I do. I, I put choose one. Yours is yours. I is, took a shot. Yours, I kept them both. yours is to knock I kept them both. Yours is to knock one off. Mine's is just. Pick one. It doesn't mean the other one ain't nice. You just like this one better. I do. So we're not knocking them all. We just picking the better. But I keep them. But I keep them both. So you got a tie? I do because first the time ever. Road, the road that Marvin Hagler took to be where he was at, you can't discount that. That motherfucker had a great. She don't know about road. this. I know about bro. Come on. She, no, 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 no. We call it the gun to your head. You have to pick one, T, or your brains get blown out. Give me Roy Jones. Okay, there you go. I'm going to tell you why. I got Marvelous Marvin Hagler. I just grew up, like you said, you grew up in that era? Yeah. I grew up in that era. Okay. But I got respect for Marvin because I said. No, no, you, you made your point. What he did. He was going to put a tie, so that's it. Right, yeah, right. That's enough. That's sure. enough. Okay, you got another one for me. Yep, I do. Okay, good. All right. Now I got Choose one. Choose one and why. That's it. No, no, uh, one got to go. One got to go. Boxing edition. Woo! Right. Now I got him. Here we go. Floyd Mayweather, Roy Jones, Muhammad Ali, or Mike Tyson. One got to go and why. Take a shot. I'm going to keep Floyd in this one. One got to go. do another guy in there that I know that I'm going to have to say I like his career better than this guy here. Mike's definitely staying. Ali, you already know that's my favorite boxer ever. Come on. So I'm going to have to say... I'm going to have to say Roy Bailey. I Roy want to go. I want to say, go. I want to say Mayweather. I want to say Mayweather. Okay. But, Roy got to go. But I'm going to say, I'm, I'm going to say Jones. Roy. Because I'm keeping Ali. I'm keeping Ali, and I'm keeping the best ass whipper ever in Mike Tyson. <laughs> He's the best ass whipper ever. Everybody know that shit. Oh, so, I, I, but it ain't saying Jones ain't the shit. Right. If the list is so hard. Then I just, somebody got to go down, dog. Somebody got to go down. It's going to be Roy. Hey, Roy. Who you got? Who you got going down on that? I'm taking a shot on all of them. 
Oh, yeah? Yeah, for sure. I'm going to tell you why. Because I... See, I couldn't get rid of Roy. Now, I'm going to tell you why these guys got All right, fuck. Roy, you got to go. <laughs> God damn. I'm just saying. Look, I'm going to tell you why. I love Roy. Okay? Roy, you is my nigga. He's making me do this shit. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. But I'm just saying, Roy, you know, you ain't sold. No pay-per-views like Floyd. That's why I got to have Floyd in. But you can't take his fighting style and how many niggas he's beating and how he... And Floyd's Why? defense is way better. Like I know he played Floyd a lot. Got the best defense so in the I, game. I know Jones played a lot, but that's what that's what it's easier for me to make that decision. Yeah, yeah. Floyd got the best defense in the game. Hands down by six thirty, baby. There you go. All right. Okay, now choose one and why. I already know your answer, just like I know who you want in the Super Bowl. <laughs> Ray Leonard, aka Sugar Ray Leonard. Sugar. Or Floyd Mayweather, aka Money Mayweather. And whatever you say, don't say it's easy because that, that would hurt my feelings because Sugar Ray, if you watch video on Sugar Ray, now I know he got three losses, but Ray fought everybody for him to have to fight him. Yeah. Take another way from Floyd. Yeah. A lot of us know. Yeah. People don't want to know, but a lot of people know. Yeah. A lot of fights he didn't take on when he was supposed to. You're right. Ray fought when it asked upon, right. and when the people's wanted it, he made it happen. You're right. Ray, Hagler, Hearns, all those guys. Uh, uh, senior. He foreseen him when he was young, waxed his ass. Who you got on this one, bro? Uh, Floyd's thing. How come is that? Give him why. Go because ahead. to me, to me, hands down, Floyd is the best boxer to ever put on a pair of gloves. You love Floyd. No, 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 no. I love the sport of boxing. No, 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 but you, you always love Floyd. Can I just Floyd, come ahead? He's the best just, boxer to ever got, put on a pair got, of gloves. Got, Kansas City Chiefs wasn't winning shit. And I was still I was, like, No, 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 no. But I was saying. coming up in here. Yes, sir. And you were always, yo, yo, I used to hit your other barber purposely. You'd be like, watch that. Yo, floor is shit. Yeah. And then, you know, you get mad. Like, yo, you would get mad. Like, yo, I swear to God, we used to play with you like that. Tico. You already knew you was coming to the fence. I mean, like, look, he's fought more world champions than any nigga in the sport of history. <clears throat> he's made more money than any nigga in the sport of history. He has the best defense in the history of the sport. He has the highest connect percentage right. in the history of the sport. So how the fuck do you say this nigga ain't the GOAT? Because you know why? He's the Pat Mahomes of boxing. I can't God damn I can't knock Floyd for having weaker opponents. Bro. Oh, no. 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 He's not his fault. Weak. Look at He fought more world champions than any other and motherfucking fighter you just win. named. He fought, he fought more world champions than Muhammad Ali. He fought more world champions than Sugar Ray Leonard. He fought more world champions than Marvelous Marvin Hagler. He fought more world champions than Mike Tyson. He fought more world champions. He fought washed up, but he fought them. What do you mean? All of us washed up. Bro, look, look, okay. Look how long it took to fight Pac-Man. No, no, no. Five fucking years. No, never. Pacquiao was on that shit. He didn't want to take a chance. I can't win that this. Was on that Listen, shit. God, I can't win this because it's gonna sound like I'm hating. He got Floyd. I got Sugar Ray. I'm gonna move on because I don't want to sound like I'm hating. You make He just like him because Sugar Ray won the Olympics. Like, like, they cheated. I love Sugar Ray. Ray. I think he was they cheated Floyd. He was going through that defense, but that's just my. No, he wasn't. Give me another. He barely one, broke through his daddy's defense. Yeah. <laughs> How you gonna talk to me? Yo, yo, he barely yo. broke through his daddy's defense. Yo, yo, get it. One guy to go. One guy to go. One <laughs> That's your go. turn. I just no, did it. I just did this. Oh, I can't remember no more. I'm happy to do it. Give me one more. You said you could do it all day. All right, all right. For sure. All right. Fuck it. Off the head. One guy to go. Yeah. Based on female looks, okay? One guy to go. Oh, See how these ladies. Can't look. keep the sports? Now, come on, man. We yeah. give everybody want to know. One guy to go, female edition, baby. Based on looks. Looks. Beyonce. Ashanti. Alicia Keys or Rihanna? One got to go. Uh, Rihanna's really appealing. Ashanti, I, I liked her when I was a little younger. Her first little album, she was pretty. Beyonce, always pretty. I would have to go Alicia Keys. Not saying that she's not pretty. Alicia got like, how can I say this in, 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 in a fine way? In a fine way. Alicia, you stay in my No, Alicia's, Alicia's dope. But I just feel like okay. I'm gonna tell you why. I don't know. I just feel like see. I like real feminine girls. Me too. Alicia come over a little strong, like she should have been a boy or something. Uh, you know, and there's nothing wrong with that uh, because you know I'm a baby. She was brought up tough. I get it. But I'm not with that. She should have been a boy on my list though. On my list, Alicia's the only one that I named in all of them four that's still fine with no makeup. Everybody no, I agree. 
Beyonce need makeup. Beyonce need makeup. But I'm just telling you, if Beyonce need makeup, Ashanti need makeup, yeah. and Rihanna big bubble head ass need makeup. Yeah. Alicia's the only one to wake up. Now this voice starts crazy, my nigga. Like, like she, she can't say like, better than Alicia. No, no, I mean just talk to me like that little accent. Oh, because she got that Caribbean yeah, that little accent. She's thinking you off the voice. You say yeah. lunch the right. You say balls. All right. I you say, say balls. Had no, voice. no I her voice is cute. So who got to go? Gun to your head. I'm gonna go with Alicia. Uh, Alicia Keys. Not, I'm, I'm not saying she. Ain't, out of here. I'm not saying she ain't bad. She just gotta go off that. And just delicious crazy. <laughs> so you put me in the spot where somebody got to die. That's like if I, got, go. if I got four family members and I have to kill one of them, they all die. And I ain't shooting the one that I, I least love. It might be the one that lived a little longer. I'm like, you know what? The baby gotta live some years too. Am I right or wrong, Chief? So one of them got to go. <clears throat> and Alicia, there you, you go. Get your ass out. Okay, this is the last one, and we out. We don't want to be too long. We actually was going to do 30 minutes. We got 46 minutes plus. But y'all going to love it because the energy we give you oh, yeah, is a fucking power. The hook. If y'all ain't feeling this shit, then go watch Stephen H. Smith fucking boring ass talking shit and lying all fucking day. Choose one and why, Big T. Come on. You said you the chiefiest chief. Right. So we gonna keep it there, and it's gonna be easy. Now I need you watch it. I need you. Come on, don't even go into it. Just no, no, no. Going. I have to because if I don't, then you're not gonna understand the question. We're doing the first five years as a Kansas City Chief. Oh, okay. I like that. I like that. Come on. I don't want the whole career. The career is Come obvious. On. First five because years. One ain't finished. One ain't finished yet. So he still got years to go. I like it. I like it. Come on. Tight ends. Tony Gonzalez, a.k.a. Tony G, or Travis Kelsey. Like the number 17. The a.k.a. A. The Ball Fag. A.k.a. Ball Travis Fag. Swift. Travis Swift. You feel me? Or Taylor Kelsey, however you want Talk to me. You know what? Uh, now, we know, we know that Tony G got the number. See, I'm going to tell you where he got his fucked up at. Because he said the first five years, T.G. was... Ball in his first five oh, years. Oh, Travis was, ah, you know, he had to get in rhythm back here out in school, but Andy took a chance on him. You know what I'm saying? Ah, so within the first five years. Or oh, make it easier, best five year period that both of them got. How about that? Travis Kelsey, TG, get your weak ass out of here. I'm taking Trav. You know why? Because when shit got rough, nigga, you left us and went to the Falcons and thought you was going to get a ring with Matty Ice. Well, who was the quarterback when he went over there? Was it Young yeah, Matt? I think it was Young Matt. Young Matty Ice? Boston College? Yeah, I you know I know my I shit on how you're in sport. All right, so Matt. Travis Kelsey stayed. They you know choked, why? He choked that game at home. I'm going to tell you why. Because he got two rings and he stayed down through the dirt. TG left. Much respect to you, nigga. I still got you. TG right now, let me go get a choice. This is the go overall. That's why I had to break it down like yeah. five years period. I think Kelsey. If TG's I, I think numbers Kelsey might not ever. Him already. Yeah, his numbers would never be broke. I mean, he. Got, I don't know. I think Kelsey broke a few of them. No, no, he got he got them by like two time yardage. Okay, okay, okay. You understand what I'm saying? That's like two time, and Kelsey's already diminishing somewhat right now. He's still good, but I don't think Kelsey's gonna play for another seven years. No, he's been in the league since. That's what I'm saying. Four. I'll give him three more yeah, years. He's been in the league like ten years, bro. Yeah, yeah so, 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 so twenty thirteen. So Kelsey, Kelsey's staying. I'm going to say Chelsea, uh, uh, Kelsey because the chips. The chips, baby. He's been in the five years. He's all about the chips. And not only the chips, he produced big time in the big games. All right? Big time. I mean, what he did in Baltimore at his age, knowing that they were going to double, they were supposed to double team him. 11 catches, 100 something yards, two touchdowns. One of the touchdowns he caught with the left hand. He did. Off a defender that never got a score on him all year. I remember that deep, that cornerback ain't never get a score in all year. Kelsey put that to rest. But I still got to keep Kelsey. TG, you got to go. <laughs> it's the Al York show. Yo, we here, go. baby. Big I want to appreciate the homie for coming down to the barber code. You know what I'm saying? Barber code, you blast. I'm the chiefiest nigga he know. He Facts. had to come do it with the realest chief he knows. Facts. Facts. And we broke it down at 49 fans. I play devil's advocate for y'all. Y'all just to help y'all. Yeah, you can't say that I ain't go both ways with it. Uh, unfortunately, we both got the Chiefs winning. My, like I said, my decision ain't fully made. Gun in my head. I say my home finds a way. That's why I'm going to leave it at. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do your thing. So, look, guys, I love you guys.
guys, thank you for tuning in. You know we coming back Friday with more heat. And uh, all week, I'm going to try, you know, my man got the event thing going on. I'm going to try to surprise y'all. Let's hope to God that certain things can pan out. Thank you guys for tuning in. Love you guys, man. Super Bowl 58, let the best team win.